often complain that math has nothing to do with the real world and that's what we're going to do today we're going to make a connection with math to the real world you learned polynomials many many years ago today you want to use polynomials and make a connection with the real world first degree polynomial you want to call it constant velocity and you discover why and second degree polynomial you want to call it constant uh, acceleration and you want to discover why this is between constant velocity and constant acceleration by solving a problem so the problem has to do with let's say a road let's construct a road and let's put two car on the road one is blue car right and blue car moves with uh, velocity 11 meter per second which is constant and there is a green car which is 15 meter uh, ahead of the blue car and the green car is at rest now you probably want to ask why the green car at rest in the middle of the road is because there is a red light there is a red light and that's why the green car is at rest waiting for the red to turn green okay and when red turns green the blue car uh, the green car accelerates accelerates with three meter per second we want to find few things at location one location two location three and location four what is happening at location three and four let's see location three this is location four and this is location three okay so as you see that the blue car which moves with constant velocity is ahead of the green car at location number three but location number four the green car is ahead of the blue car because again the second degree polynomial is always higher than the first degree polynomial and that's what we're going to try to understand why okay now let's create a table for the green and the blue all right so the table for the green you have location one two three and four okay uh, and what else you have you have uh, time distance displacement velocity acceleration all right the location one doesn't exist for for car number for the green car but let's keep it there location t b displacement velocity acceleration right so all right, so that's it. We have location one, two, three, and four. Okay, so far so good. Uh, here is your acceleration. Now, let's see how much information we can we can uh, we can complete without uh, without um, doing physics. Acceleration. Well, for car, green car, the location one doesn't exist. Three, three, three. Velocity is zero. Time. At location to zero this distance 15 displacement 15 okay acceleration is zero 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 all four location velocities 11 11 11 11 displacement is zero zero time is zero all right so what are you gonna do we're gonna write the blue is equal to green all right so here's what you're gonna do the blue displacement is equal to uh, BAT plus half AT squared. So DF minus DI is equal to BAT plus half AT squared. So DF is equal to DI plus BAT plus half AT squared. And we're going to do the same thing for the green. Displacement is VAT plus half AT squared. And DF is equal to DI plus VAT plus half AT square. The green distance is 15, uh, initial velocity is 0, acceleration is 3 T squared. So, equation for green is B of T is equal to uh, 1.5 T squared plus 15. The equation for the blue is uh, D initial is 0, acceleration is 0. So, D is equal to uh, 
element d so d of t for this one d of t is equal to element t okay this is the equation for the blue okay now how that's going to help us find the time well very very easy so d is equal to element t when the d is um, when the d is 15 right at location 2 the d is 15 so t is 1.4 so this is 1.4 this is 15 this is 15 okay location 3 how can we find the time well very easy to find the time uh, you um, use the you set it to each other so 11 t i'm gonna do this one like this 1.5 t squared plus 15 is equal to 11 t so what are you gonna get 1.5 t squared minus 11 t plus 15 is equal to zero so you have t is equal to so minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a which give you 11 plus minus 11 squared minus 4 a is 1.5 and c is 15 and 2 times 1.5 is 3 which gives you uh, 1.8 and 5.2 okay so the time here is 1.8 here is 1.8 at location 3. Location 3 time is 1.8. Location 4, the time is 5.2. Time is 5.2. Okay, that's going to give you the resistance. How? Uh, well, the resistance is very easy. D is equal to 11 uh, times uh, 1.8. And that gives you 20. So this is uh, this is also displacement is also twenty. So this is uh, five. This is five. And velocity is vf is equal to vi plus at. Vi is zero. Three times one point eight. So five point four. Okay. And now finally we're gonna find the distance here. So distance is equal to eleven times five point two, and that is sixty and displacement is also 60 so the distance is um, 45 displacement is 45 and then vf is equal to vi plus at this is 0 a is 3 5.5 5.2 all right so we uh, completed the table now uh, you're going to draw the graph so you're going to draw the graph for blue uh, dt dt is a displacement versus time this is velocity versus time okay displacement versus time this is okay now green displacement versus time velocity versus time okay so this one is 11 T and the time is 5.2 and 5.2 the distance is 60 and this is eleven five point two this is eleven okay the distance is or you have Okay, so this is uh, five point five point two, and this is sixty, and um, five point two, and this is fifteen point seven. This is distance or displacement. This is distance or displacement. All right.
Okay, so um, that's the class work number 18.